some block is commonly used the block sum. Okay. And I need some constant block. There's some constant block here. Gain is constant actual gain. And there will be let's say a one by one force. So input is step input, so it will be source is a step input. Now, if you have your program, you can follow me, okay? Exactly the same thing. So this one, step input, what is the... Oops. Yeah. T prime D0 equal 2. That means... If you divide by t prime d0, this will be 1 over t prime d0, right? Both sides, you divide by t prime d0, so it will be 1 over t prime d0, k over t prime d0, right? So your a will be 1 over t prime d0. So t prime d0 is 2, so minus the 1 I had, this only is based on that. 1 half as t prime d0. Right? So I can have this is one half. Some here. And this should be plus and minus. Same thing as what happened here. Should be minus plus one way of setup. Oh no no no, that's uh, it's the B. Uh, flip block here. So one half of gain. So now this is the uh, S part is here, right? So this is A, this is B, and I go to have integration here. So what is the integration? One over S. So we do the integration, integrator here. So this is the x dot, and this will be x. So this x going into here, okay? So this will go into here. So this is your system, in similarly. So I'm going to have input, and I like to check the output. So you're going to see here. Exactly the same thing we did in example 2, right? So exponentially going on like this. So that's what I meant. Verify the result with the simulac. Now, first thing is you need to solve the differential equation, right? And then you cannot compare every single point, so check with your result with a couple of points. Like here. So what is the actual value at time 2? What is the value of time 4 and time 6? 
and eight like that. So there are four points you pick it. So you calculate the value this time function. So you can plug it into t equal to two, and you got the value here, and you get the value from the here. Actually, you can approximately you can get it here like this. Okay, at two. So two is uh, about. 0.632, something like that. Okay? So about 0.63. So you can compare. Is it okay? Right? You understand what to do for this. I understand uh, how we would solve like that equation there. Mm -hmm. using, but um, getting to there to the simulink blocks. All that I understand that the integrator is one over s, but we just have to take their solution where we get there. Now. This will be x two will be whatever the operator e t right. This will be initial condition is zero, so it's a function of uh, u and not actually u here e f d and e t. Right? In fact, that is probably, what is the solution? I'll go back to here. Probably more specific on that one. Because the same thing as example number two. Because the initial condition is zero. Now, for our example, a equal 1f, right? Mm -hmm. b equal 1f. So what is your solution? 1 minus e to the minus 1 half t. Right? So now, at t equal 2, so e t equal 2 is 1 minus e to the minus 1 and 2, so it will be minus e to the 1, right? Yeah. So you can evaluate this one, it's like that, right? Oh, okay. So now you got the some value, some value here. So you compare with this one, with this value. Right? That's all right. Okay? So let's just check two points. Select two. I like to select two. And <coughs> but this is not the one actually. That's why I confuse you a little bit on that. Select the two, select the four. Two second and four second. Compare with a similar result actually your calculation. Okay? Two and four. There is a reason why you need to select two. Okay, I'll tell you later. Yes. Did you just say select points two and four? Two points. Yeah, just only two. check the two points. Just check two points. Yeah. Two times t equal two, t equal four. Okay? Yes. Can we do this? Should we email it to you or turn it into class? Hard cut. Because I need to create. To create, right? Just to clarify for our work, we're redoing, we're basically doing what we just did now for the yes. Okay. yes. And you wanted us to do uh, seconds two and four on all of them, or just this one? What do you mean? Well, so uh, two points. Oh, two, two points. Two points. I am sorry. Yeah. Because it's, there are too many points, you cannot do it. Right? Yeah. You can do it, method you can generate t equal to generate a certain time, you can graph that one, but that's too much. How should we, how should we know what points we can get? Arbitrary, I just give you two points. One of the reason I give two and four, actually this is not the graph, let's go back to here. Since you are you're asking that, so let's go to here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Now, I ask you to, oh, it's too high. By the way, let's change this. I hate the problems. Tap here. Why? Why? Black. Right. Right. So now I ask you two. This one. Okay. And you select four. Three and four is here. The reason why I ask. This system has time constant. Some value that corresponds to time constant. Okay? So it's time constant, system time constant to give you some idea how fast your system will be. So about 60%, you do the step response about 6%, that gives you a time constant of system. Okay? That's what I ask you select the two and four. Okay? Yes. Do you want to, uh, is there some way to do that with MATLAB? Is that what you're saying? Or just write down the answer based off of what we see in the graph? You just uh, use a graph from that. That's just one graph. And copy to you the one, the word processor, word, right? right? And then you can write, write up there. So there's right lines. And two, it would be like what's Yeah, you, you just select the object. Mm -hmm. from the same. Okay. This point. That, that, that's what I was getting at. I, I got that. If you move your mouse over it, it's going to give you the exact value. It's not going to be exact value. Sometimes it does, but it's not going to give you that one. So you can have here to some of here. So you can pick it up. It doesn't have that exact. Okay, let's use just two digits. That's good enough. All right. Okay? Yes. Is there, is there a cursor function for that? Hmm? Can you use a cursor function on that scope? Probably it is. Yeah, I didn't try that. Okay, you whatever you can do. Okay. Okay. The main purpose is make you guys familiar with the simulator by doing this. Okay. And later actually I'm using them. Let's go back. Yes. So now I go through everything there. Now I go to here. This is the main thing that I have. Eh? As you are, uh, this example. 